You know, a lot of people that really don't know about South Florida football history, but Rohan Marley actually played football for the University of Miami. You know, he was a linebacker, number two. So anytime you see that number two, you know, there's a couple people that you think of. You're gonna think of Willis McGahee, and you're gonna think of Rohan Marley. Those are two things that's gonna come up instantly when you talk about that. You know, when you go along this journey, you're gonna always cross paths with certain people. So it's important to actually give these people their flowers or even put these people on display to show why you are, where you are, and who you are. And throughout the whole process, man, I've met a lot of great people. And those people don't go unnoticed. They may not be mentioned all the time, but those people help shape me and help shape others. And I'm here to be one of those two other people. And I think that's only right and it's a natural thing that we all should do without even trying to do it. Well, you know, Rohan, um, he went to the University of Miami and if you were a kid growing up in South Florida, everything University of Miami is connected. And that's where the initial thing started from. And as we got older and older, we connected we connected on other levels. We connected on business level, we connected on personal levels. But that University of Miami glue um, brought us together. That's one thing about football. Football brings a lot of people together from different walks of life. Listen, man, the University of Miami, the best school in the country. It's just the number one program, you know, it's just a brand. It's a brand. So, uh, in that locker room, it's animals, you know, like real animals. Like, you gotta earn your keep. Like, <laughs> so playing for the University of Miami, you always gotta prove yourself. <laughs> you always gotta, like, impress your bigger brother, you know? You always gotta, like, you wanna outdo your bigger brother. You wanna, like, you wanna own it. You want to own your position, you know? So that, what, that is what makes University of Miami great and that brotherhood because we really look up to each other. But deep down inside, we want to be better than the one in front of us. <laughs> That's the only way you can maintain your position. So it's really that. When I think of EJ, my first impression is him running into the end zone, like running the ball on the outside. The, in, no, that's untouched. <laughs> like, when you think of EJ, I just think, I just see his youthful face in like a, a lion, you know? My first impression is a lion, you know, when I'm watching him play because, you know, that's what we love. We love how he plays the game from the first impression. EJ is very precise. Everything's calculated. EJ is measured. Like, every move he makes is measured. Nothing sporadic. <laughs> Nothing. It's all well planned. And there's a timing to EJ, you know. He lives life by his own timing. And he does things his way, you know. Like, I, I love that, you know. He says it, he does it. He did. Like, he makes it happen. <laughs> so he's very steady. I just like that about him. He's a real go getter. I can never see EJ working for anyone. <laughs> Yeah, EJ is a boss. He's a straight boss, <laughs> for sure. I love that about him, you know what I mean? Independent, solo, quite solo, and um, a magical father. You know, it's always there for his, for his children. Each and every one of them gets his support, you know? So he's a great father, great father.